Where is she? God, we're never gonna get this episode starting, are we? Hey, my late? I read you like a rabbit. First off, where were you? Second off, no, you're not late. You're just in time. Third, why where? were you late? Well, I went into the room and then I saw it needed grooming and brushing. And then we did some nails. Who is th they? Old oh, girl stuff. Well, for me, it was for a buddy. A what? A buddy. B bunny? A bunny. You know, long ears, fluffy tails, also known as rabbits. We should really get the episode starting. What an awesome time to do an episode about rabbits. You yeah. might want to run and get your popcorn out of your microwave and get cozy because it's going to be a fun episode of Animal Talk. Wait, did you just give me bunny ears? Bucks and those. Welcome back to Animal Talk. Here's lovely Alicia. And here's awesome Roy. Wait, aren't we supposed to do it the other way around? We're trying something new this time. Okay, if we're here to chit chat about long ears, fluffy tails, creatures also known as rabbits, let's talk Bunny 101, shall we? Surprisingly enough, Rabbits are not rodents. What? Actually, yes, this is true. Rabbits are part of a group of over 60 mammals called leopard, which in Latin translates to resemblance of lepis, or hare. This group also includes picas, or mouse bunnies, and of course, the one and only hare itself. Wait, I have to look this up on my phone. Did you switch my phone with my script? No, you also had that in your pocket. Check mm. the other one. Nothing in the other one. No, that one. Oh. <laughs> Nothing, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, oh. That's right, um, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. Or maybe not. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. If I was a rabbit, like this little guy here, what would I eat? Hmm. Oh, I know. Um, rabbits are vegetarian. They enjoy eating vegetables, obviously. They also like to nibble on dandelions, wildflowers, and other plants like clovers, just like in the guinea pig episode. Isn't that pretty much what we mentioned in the guinea pig episode? Yes, that's exactly what I said. Just like almost every animal species on Earth, rabbits have breeds. Some of them are Dutch rabbits, which you will mostly be seeing as pets, chinchilla rabbits, which are gray in color, hence the name, Netherland dwarf rabbits, which are the smallest breed of pet rabbit, not a recommendation if you're a first time rabbit owner. Holland Lop Rabbits, which are known for their floppy ears. Angora, which have long hair. Casper Lop, which is like a fusion of the Holland Lop and an Angora. Long hair, floppy ears. And Fluffy Kings and Queens, Mini Rex, like the one we have here. Who's our little Fluffy King? Oh yes, who's our little Fluffy King? Who's our little fluffy king? Oh, that's nice to you know, because I thought there was only one species called the Rex, which we have here. Mini Rex. The Mini Rex. But now I know there is 11, I think. There's more. Like, for example, the one with the biggest ears is called the English Lop. It's got the biggest ears of any rabbit. What? What? This is a lot of species. Wow. And there's more. The biggest rabbit of all is called the Flemish Giant, which is so big, to pick it up you have to wrap it in a towel. The biggest rabbit in the world lives in England, and his name is Darius. The England, in the United Kingdom. 
<clears throat> First question, um, why are we learning maps? Second question, <clears throat> thank you for the fun fact. You forgot to say fun fact in the start. And that's oh. it. <laughs> what do you say we keep going? Sure. One may be English, but this one is French. The mini Rex is also really, really fluffy. Because its fur doesn't lie down, it's standing up. It's a French breed. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Dieu. Ça va bien. Hey, hey, this is not French class. Oh, excusez-moi. It means excuse me in French. Oh, okay. Now it's time for the quiz and the joke of the day. First, the joke. What kind of books can you find in a rabbit's library? Mm, I don't know. Fluffy tails. Oh, I get it now. I don't get it. Oh, now the quiz. That was my cue, right? Yeah. Okay, good. What's the biggest part of the rabbit? A. The A. The ears. B. The back legs. C. The front legs. We'll tell you the answer in the end. No Googling that. We're, We're watching, watching you, you Joe. Joe. So you're thinking of getting a pet, you've come to the right channel. If you need names for your new pet rabbit, I think you should name it Fluffy. Fits perfectly. What does Fluffy mean? I'm going to be in dictionary right now, so if you don't like dictionaries, I recommend you skip this part. Fluffy, adjective. Small, fluffy, cute, and puffy. Just like this little guy we have here, he's so fluffy. But his name is Charlie. If you're an, how do you call it, an dictionary, what is a democracy and dictatorship? Well, why don't we just stay back on topic of rabbits? The rabbit should have a cage, like a guinea pig if you have one, but just bigger. This cage should act like a home base for your rabbit, mm. because on a daily basis, your rabbit should have a space and a room, or a room, for it to run around in for its daily exercise. The cage should include a water bottle, Obviously. wood for it to do on, gnaw on, a litter box, because they can be litter trained, surprisingly enough, mm. a pellet bowl, a hay rack, a place for it to hide in, bedding, or snoozy sleeper, Bunnies are also great pets because they're affectionate. The bunny that we showed you on the break is so affectionate that when I came back from camp, he climbed all over me. He rushed to me like there was no tomorrow and licked my face like crazy. Isn't that right, my little sweetie? Aw, that's sweet. Another thing you should know about rabbits is something called rabbit bonding. Rabbit bonding is when you and your rabbit have quality time together. This helps you win your rabbit's trust so you can teach it spoken words. Like no, and good bunny, and cage, and other things. This will also teach your rabbit not to misbehave so it doesn't chew on things it's not supposed to. Let's we'll end, end the episode, episode off with, with how, how to, to pick, pick up your, your little, little fluff, fluff ball. Okay, step one. Pet the rabbit so it feels safe and doesn't get stressed out. Step two. Put one hand under its tummy and swift it up gently. Okay. Step three, put the puffball close to your body and the other hand still supporting its rear end. I hope you're hopping in your boots in this episode of Animal Talk. Can I do the quiz answer? Sure. That's awesome. The answer to the quiz is... B, the back leg. Be proud of yourself if you got that right. See you next time on Animal Talk.